So right now I am standing in front of Mr. Eldos Abraham's house and he has done this budgeted theatre. So let's see what are the specifications and technicalities of this budgeted theatre. Like I've said, this is going to be a very exciting episode for a lot of movie enthusiasts who thinks that budget is a constraint in having a home theatre for themselves. And Mr. Eldos Abraham, like I've said, is a big time movie lover and when he approached us, he specifically mentioned that he needed a very concentrated budgeted theatre but having the high performance uh, technicalities. So let us show you what we've done inside this theatre. Let me start by talking about the room dimensions of this theatre. It has a length of 22 feet and width of 13 feet. And as you can see, there was a wall partition here before because uh, this was a utility room of Mr. Eldo Abraham. So we have done uh, the wall partition and we have made it into a big theatre like you can see. Now let's talk about the audio video configuration. We have used Dolby at most 5.2.2 configuration and now talking about the projector we have the full HD Optima DLP projector used in this theatre and also when it comes to the screen it is a light 120 inch fixed screen that we've used. So we have initially talked about the room dimension, we've covered the audio video configuration, we've talked about the screen also. Now you'll be excited to know more about the speakers. So the speakers that we've used in this budgeted theatre are from Polk Audio and the speakers that we've used is Polk Audio Fusion Series 5.1. And the subwoofers that we've used here is also from Polk Audio and the series is HTS 12 400 watts. For Atmos, we have used Polk Audio RC ATI and for Media Player, we have used here NVIDIA Shield TV Pro and as you all know that in NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, we can actually attach external hard drive and we have an attachment of 4 TB external hard drive over here and also um, we have used Amazon TV Fire Stick also where you can watch all the movies and everything from Amazon, Netflix, etc. Like I mentioned before, you can customize it with any color, but we have used black here because it matches with the wall. So whichever uh, color your wall is, you can actually uh, go for or opt for any color which suits your wall. And we have gone for black, which is actually giving a very classy look as panels inside the theater. Now let's talk more in detail about the ceiling and also the floor. For the ceiling, we have used acoustic grid tiles 2 into 2. And you can also see a cove-shaped acoustic uh, ceiling over here. And on top of that, we have covered it up with beautiful illuminating LED lights. LED strip lights, if I must say. And when it comes to the floor, we have used a grey-coloured acoustic carpet, which is very soft when you actually walk in. And also a very important point to be noted is that here beside the screen it was two windows so we have actually closed the windows and placed and fixed the screen over here so that is also a highlight of the theatre now let's talk about the seating capacity of this theatre as you can see we have five single recliners over here which adds beauty to the theatre and I am absolutely in love and awe with the colour which is actually matching the theatre and it is, which is giving a, a more definition to the theatre for its classiness and since our customer are all into business and are very busy. Unfortunately, we could not get the customer for a customer review. I am so sure that uh, everybody loved this theatre and is anticipating to know the budget of this theatre. Well, this concepted budgeted theatre is of a budget 5 lakhs. 
So five lakhs is actually the budget of this theater, and I am so sure that everybody is actually uh, very much in shock knowing the budget. How somebody can create a concept theater which so much technicalities with so much detailing. Yet in a good budget. Well, that is what SH Digital Media stands for. We create your dream home theaters. And now, in this theater, what impacts the more is that rather than soundproofing, we have given more and more importance to the panel acoustics. And when it comes to the door, also we have not used the soundproofing, but we have used the acoustic door. So, like I've mentioned before, there are two windows nearby our flat screen where you can actually open. Now, to talk about the doors of the This theater, we have two doors. One door leads to the entrance and exit of the theater, and one door is actually leading to the balcony. So this is all about the theater. Like I've said in the beginning, that this is going to be a very exciting and special episode for all those people who wants to have a mini theater at their home, but they are backing it out because of the budget constraints. Well, I am so sure that after this episode, a lot of people are going to think about creating. their magical theater at home so sh digital media is all here to support you to visualize and to conceptualize your dream home theater so with this i am winding up today's episode till the next time we meet with such a different special episode next time this is archana ravi signing off bye